coming from Tobago and living on Nelson Street, going to going to UE, I was real scared too, you know, because of the area. I heard so much about it. My parents wasn't really approval of it, but where the storm, one day things must must get better. And Wayne Allen. The man shot dead on Nelson Street on Sunday afternoon has been identified as 59-year-old HDC contractor Wayne Allen. Relatives who identified his body at the Forensic Science Center in St. James described him as a father figure not only to his children, but to the Nelson Street community where he lived. Allen was throwing away rubbish in an alley near his home when gunmen ran down the alley and sprayed bullets. Ever seen nothing like that in Tobago? But um, once you have a passion and a following inside of you, giving up was never an option, boy. If it was one of the places that I had to be, to be where I am, shit that. Nelson Street showed me and made me who I am today, King. Wayne Allen possessed that a level of confidence in me, securing me, offering up friendship time, leisure time, you name it, humor time. He would cuss me and tell me when I do shit. He was a realist, a realist in the game. He showed me drugs, he showed me drugs, he showed me guns, he showed me guns, he showed me when a murder take place, he showed me everything. Is like preparing me. That man was a he was a gem boy. He was like about um he was in my age group, you know. And I want that's that's one one thing about me, you know. I always seek to to elders for, for knowledge and experience because when I talk to them, it's like they went through the boat that I'm going through right now, you know? And for Wayne to tell me at age 40, age 38, age 35, this is what he went through, but he's now age 54, you know? And I going through that process is like, um, he preparing me for shit to take place. He opening my eyes. Yo, these are things I do. I ain't going to make that mistake. You're a big one, boy. Let's play pan, boy. You're a big one, boy. Do for boy. Come out of that shit, boy. Come out in the morning, bring out the birds, sit down, we just talk life. Just talk life. I, do one and all. I used to live in America, you know, they deport me and thing, you know. But at the end of the day, it's a, it's a learning lesson. I ain't want you to be in that shit. I ain't want you to be in that shit, do one. Next thing you tell me, we are drinking? You know me, I got drink that style. All right, we're drinking. We have a nice, why are we drinking now? I said, all right, all right, I'll go upstairs and get my pan. I bring down my speakers, we play pan on the road, and he alone gonna be dancing in front of me. He alone gonna be throwing at $20. At that point in time, it was like, they encourage somebody to so throw next 20. He playing pan for everybody, you know, having a nice time. I said, who are you like? Says so a boxy man's face, too, boy. See, today, I is too fun, boy. I is renegades, boy. Twenty seventeen, came in the Paniard just to look for me, just to look for me. But the way how Renegade's Paniard situated, it has some white bars that blocks the public from the band. And all I can hear was, Duvon, Duvon, kill him. I look around, I see Wayne in a Renegade's jersey. I say, What the hell is this, boy? I was like, this brother for real, boy. I say, oh, let him come in. Let him come in the white bar. Put a seat for him this now when he sat. It was like, you bad or no? Trinidad, good morning. He just, with his stag in his hand. Two stag in his hand and he's just having a nice time, you know. Just happy to see him in that element, you know. I could have touched him. I could feel him. I go across. He say, move from behind me, boy. Play the music. Just play the music. 
Don't stop it. Don't stop it. Don't stop it. I cannot. I sense an encouragement. The next morning we wake up. Thank God for the day. Come up with the birds. To phone your bad, you know. Your bad. Eh, eyes renegades now, boy. You have more jersey? I say, yeah. Bring some more jerseys for him, you know. Again, that friendship was for like for about from 2001 till December the 11th. 2017. 2017. 2017 when he passed, I was in Renegade Spaniard, prepared for 2018. And Sunday evening. Pack, 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 pack. Gunshots. Sign the Paniard helping clean the Paniard. Say, fellas, all you hear that, oh? Yeah, but that is, that is God shot down on the Nelson's bus. Hope nobody will pick, get pick up. So I just see in the pan here, we listening to music, we drinking, we jollying. My phone rang. The physical education teacher in Southeast Port of Spain, called him Roger. We used to live on the corner every morning, every evening, every night with Wayne. Do fun, boy. We now get mash up here, boy. No, I said, we talking about mash up. But you now hit Wayne 11 here, boy. So good. Chop in the car. Straight back down Nelson Street. See my boy, that pull up, blood. We talked this morning. So he go upstairs and cook. But something took place that day. Some youth men from Lower Nelson Street went and do some harassing and some things up higher Nelson Street. That gang warfare between Prince Upper Nelson, Lower Nelson, that is warfare right there by itself. Wayne, he ain't no crime, he ain't doing nobody nothing, he ain't do, he come with the birds, he work in NHA, HGC, he sang a thing, he clock, he come back home, he called me out, we lie, do we had to do. Some shooting take place up Nelson Street that Sunday morning. So the fellas up on the Nelson Street get to hear it's men lower down Nelson Street that do the, do the shooting now. But nobody can get shoot up the road. They just went and hot up the place now. That evening, men went down for revenge. Just to, yo, we got to touch up anybody we see. If we can't find the head, anybody becomes a statistic. It could be me. Anybody. So happy when was walking down the stairs after cooking. Choppy garbage outside. Choppy garbage outside the road. And they hit him 11. 11. Right back. See me pull up blood. And the brothers and our end on Nelson Street knew who the killer was. They knew him. And when they revealed the killer to me, I knew who he was. Two days after I left for St. Vincent to do a concert with Star Left Steel Orchestra, a band I used to arrange for in St. Vincent, and his daughter, Afisha Duke, say, Duvon, I'm bearing Wayne until they come back around. It's okay. I left St. Vincent, came back to Trinidad, and we laid him to rest. On the 17th of 
Tisem. Yeah, Fulham was never any play yet, eh? Yeah, Fulham was never any play. And what happened is that I was broken mentally because that was the time for me to prepare music for Renegades to go for Panorama and stuff like that, you know? But songs were releasing, but my mind wasn't really focused on it, you know? Out of the blue, I just say one day, boy, shake up yourself, Duvo, that's get out of that. That, 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 that heavy, dull moment in right now, I was in the Anchorage. Voice held a birthday party vibes down in the Anchorage. And I saw the party was just in a frenzy when Voice was singing, Fire Gabbard. And Maybe flame, flame torch. And the whole party was just blown away by the song. So I said, well, this is going to be a big song, boy. Christmas morning now. Wake up. Went on YouTube. Look for the song. I listening. The music. First thing I listen to the music. I listen to the first verse musically. I say, yo. Rewind this song. Listen to the lyrics in the song. Another young one, God. He beat his chest and smile. See, he's a bad man. Wayne come right back in my face. Wayne come right back in my face. And just listening to the lyrics to the song, a man is a man who can't defend no one. Who respect the place by any means. You know no bad man, boy. A man is a man. You can't defend yourself with no gun. Sit down, rock back. Big man go and look for a walk. It's too damn evil. And I say, man, who kill me? I say, what day go and go talk to you? What day had to answer to somebody? For just for distressing my people? Fire gun money. That was here for love. For renegades. On the 26th of December, went up in the pan yard. We had a gathering where we didn't normally do what song we like, what song we like, what song we like, you know? We had three songs. Three songs was, um, Yeah For Love was one. Patrice Roberts, Sweet For Days was one. And I can't remember the third one. Third one was never really a runner, a contender, song for, a contention. But, um, when the band heard Patrice Roberts, cause the party starts, 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 starts. If I was with me, can't even have sweet for her days. And everybody in the party was like in pandemonium. That, that is song, boy. That is song. I, I, I could see when the guys mash up with this. I heard the song. And I play Year for Love After. Take you, take you, take it, take you, take it, take you, take you, take it. Nah, boy, that song too slow, boy. That song dead, boy. That song dead. So when I was revealing in order of what song I like and what song I want to do for the panorama, and I released message globally because I was live on Facebook doing the unfeeling of the song. I told him I like here for love. Everybody was, majority of them was disappointed because they wanted to do sweet for days. Cleveland King, call him Slick, double section, sex, the double tenor section leader, say, Tuvo, eh, 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 pa, you is my Arisha, and whatever you do, I will do, right? Do your thing, pa, do your thing, pa. Candace Andrews Bruman say, um, you gotta have to speed it up a little bit, right? You gotta have to speed it up a little bit. And 
a phone call came from a sister in by the name of Dawn D'Souza, who is now the um, treasurer for the band. And she was like, I like you for love. I said, nice. I want person on my side again. I came to the pannier and I started the verse and chorus on the 7th of January, 2018. Emotionally broken. But before that process started, I was working with Dante Panting in a studio, home at his house, with an e-pan created by Mr. Salmon Cupid, doing all the music from the head to the pan, transcribing it onto a computer, because I want to be precise. I want to make this sound for Wayne, in memory of Wayne. And that's where the speaker and the microphone came out for the whole public to hear the song every day, to hear my voice telling the story of what affected me, but changed my whole concept about doing panorama music, to make the deaf hear and to make the blind see. Because Wayne is no more. Wherever he's resting in peace, he's feeling that music coming from me to him. This might thank you. If I didn't say it in any flesh, this might thank you to him in his spiritual realm. I started doing the music and explaining the story about the air for love to the players. The whole band was in awe. I tell him, go and listen to the lyrics of the song. Listen to the lyrical content of the song. And tell me if them lyrics ain't touch you no way because you love, you lost a loved one through gun violence, anything called crime, that song, the lyrics in that song, touch it some way, touch it some way. And it touched me some way, same way too. And by bringing that whole year for love story to the party yard, musically to the band, I explained I was like, I don't know what this represent. My friend Wayne, another young one gone back, he gets shoot, he dead. Now my story started to tell. And everybody was like, will you just come up with these things, boy? I said, yo, we had to start to treat music like theater. Treat it like theater. Treat it in a sense where we could have people understand visually what you're doing musically. You could tell stories through music in many ways, but this is a way I want to try to make people understand. By being strong, by being confident with whatever I give Ole to play, I give it, I give it to Ole from my heart. And by me explaining it every single night until the 11th of February, Panorama Finals results was revealed, Yefla was a winner. I felt happy. The process, the journey from the seventh of January to to February eleventh wasn't easy, boy. Wasn't easy, of course. To now face a point in time where all your close friends are wrong here, 
to get that support, losing that loved one, it can happen to anybody. It happened to me and it hit me real hard. I even tried to recreate the timeline of how the event took place, how he gets shoot. I wasn't there when he got shoot. I could just go back in my mind and just create it musically. When I was there for when the guy who killed Wayne got killed. I was there. I was home. And that whole scenario scene was done in the music of Be for Love for Reggae. out the whole Shafford court, the whole harp, the whole East Dry River Port of Spain came out to their numbers to witness Renegades practice sessions every night. It used to take me something like about minimum 10 minutes to settle down, coming out of my car, walking through the pannier because everybody wanted to meet the one student. Everybody wanted to shake his hand. Good night, how you doing this and that and that. When I come behind the band now, I give everybody in the band a high five, a handshake, everything good, give a hug, a kiss, nice. And we start the process for the night. Take the mic and just go ahead, unveil the story. Everybody was just waiting, waiting for music. Where you coming to do next boy do for you know? Where you where, where gonna take the story? We want to take this story. With that taking place now, the, the crowd gathering in the Panya was growing every night, every night. They waited to hear what this song is going to come out to be. They waited to hear because it was like viewing the young and restless. They're intrigued by what Victor going to say tomorrow, what um, um, Nikki going to say Wednesday, you know what I'm saying? So coming in the Panya, it was just like, waiting to hear what Duvon doing with this song. And everybody was blown away because I had the communication, I had the love, I had the respect, I had the camaraderie, I had the togetherness all in sync. And with the humble attributes that I performed at the end of the day, taking this whole journey of Year for Love to be a successful tool, it just gravitated East Dry River Port of Spain to come together, to come as one, to live as one, to, 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 to be more family oriented and look out for one another. Let me stop the killing, let me stop the fight, and it could have happened to anybody. And it just blew everybody, my, it blew my mind out to the, out to the whole world too. Cause I didn't, I, didn't even, I didn't even know I could have do that, do, do, do that things. Wayne Allen has, 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 done, has done so much, has contributed so much great things to my life from 2018 until now, you know? That, that song will go down in history, in my book, as one of the greatest songs the one Stewart has ever arranged for a band. And it so happened that BP Renegades was the band to spread that love to because when I left Tobago at a young age, Renegades was the band. My father was there witnessing the process. My mom was there witnessing the process. And they were all intrigued by Daimi Sadano. They were shocked by it, you know. They didn't know he was like a chosen one to do something like this. They, they saw great things happening from before. But to do a Panama song and collaborate it with a true story and bring it across in music form, 
it was mind-blowing for my parents and my fans to see.